and welcome back to From the Depths. And, uh, we, we are moving downwards down. here. We don't really have the enough fuel to be fighting much more after this. So one or two battles, it's gonna be it for our ships to return home. Moving now. Yeah. What is here? It's a pedal gun prototype and a strike. Huh. Well. There. Some of the missiles hit, most of them did not. Well, it, it should be that now. And the Pelican prototype. He will learn the meaning of, of getting ass kicked, but. He's already lost the guns or something. Yeah, it's like he did already. This thing has like guns only at the front arc here, and that's pretty much its prime weaponry. Oh yeah! Hello, back into the game. The, the, the material, the material. That is someone to tip. Receiving. Receiving. Moving now. Okay. Moving now. Let's get in and let's see whether or not we can do something about Moving this base now. over here. Um, as I said before, the problem is the fuel, so we want our support vessel if we want to put it that way not call it that way uh, we want it as quickly in the game as possible moving now and you better not be behind one another so we're gonna move one here and one here and begin to battle them receiving Okay, so we're shooting, we're shooting, we're hitting, we're doing damage, a lot of damage actually. And the shells are landing right near us, but they are not apparently hitting. I could, you can like press G if you see uh, uh, very slow cramp cannon shells in the area, you can just press G and your ship will reverse, and most likely the enemy guns will mess completely. Uh, it could be controlled with the ACP that as well, but uh, I'm not completely sure. Does it have on the, the enemy shell? Is this and this close to? No, that, that's right now. It's very bad, you know. Well, it's too damaged. AI yeah, is that. We still have some fuel left, but. Uh, Nah, we, we need to get back to our starting fortress. We need to get back where back the way we were before. Or whatever the song already goes. Receiving. Moving now. Well we do have a uh, uh, Arwen, really? Arwen consisting of what? A Corsair. I can't remember Receiving. Corsair being an air vehicle. Receiving. Yet again. Uh, I'm gonna be constantly forgetting this one apparently today. Alright. UP. Uh, let's 
let's let's see. Yeah, it's pretty much already dead. And cup of whiskey. Not gonna swipe rock. But we start driving our power off. I'm gonna go the long way back around because I don't wanna fight anything in these close quarters. And repair here. And is this thing built? 91%. That's actually not that bad. I. Uh, Well, after this one, uh, there is one more base that um, Deepwater Guard has, and it's right here. So, receiving, moving now, moving now, Come moving on. now. Okay. And that base is actually slightly bit more difficult, but. Uh, it's not that much of a threat either. Um, not to our ships. But yet again, it has. Uh, it's there is quite a lot of shallow water. There is islands all around. Oh yeah, the deep water guard have one of the most annoying territories in the game. Uh, in between the islands here, pretty much a lot of land around and around. And it, uh, you learn to hate land. Um, with, with ships. It doesn't cause as, not even close as much problems with aircraft or anything flying. Um, subs, oh my god, they lord, you can have problems with those in this sort of a water. Moving now. Receiving. And we accolade is built. Still, we accolade. Are you not? Hmm. Yeah, I have uh, turned this vehicle in, in somewhat of a support ship with all the latest and greatest AI on it. And of course, it also has a refinery. And these guns are actually, I think it's, yeah, they're. I think they are retrofitted a little bit, uh, so they can fire fast. Otherwise, this ship does not have much of any defenses. Built out of wood, only has the smaller guns, the 95 mm and it also has these resource collectors, which are currently not working because the resource uh, zone is pretty much already saturated. Because his zone has zero material. <sighs> Alright, where are you? Receiving. Take us hurry up a bit. Um hmm. They bring me back material, so it's therefore given for now. And uh, next, we will go down south. We're just gonna refuel here. Um, took uh, the vehicle eight into the composition of the fleet, and we're gonna go down south and pass this islands and then up. 
hopefully we don't meet anything particularly big okay they're refilled I'm well refilled Moving now. and um, is the end for the bigger map? no uh, okay let's pull you out receiving vehicle and Receiving. Okay. And merge these forces into a single fleet. Receiving. Yes. And moving now. Uh, let's go back. Speed sixty meters. Yeah, the vehicle rate is not particularly fast. Oh yeah, the vehicle rate also has a radar buoys uh, as a missile. So they should have an extended radar range when they're flying to the target. They can see stuff that's much further away. And hopefully that will actually be helpful to an extent. Oh, it's a bit more waiting that running back to the fuel or and back it's... Huh. Uh, turning me off. But for now we have our fuel, fuel refineries. Moving now. But yeah, the material. Uh, we are currently getting 875 material a minute, costing 36 fuel per minute, and fuel production of 2680 at 125 material per minute. Well, yeah, it should, should be just fairly... It should work. Moving now. And back to our adventures. Gonna put that them that way. We're gonna see what we're gonna meet here. Meet here? Now. Hopefully they will either spawn aerial vehicle or they're gonna be actually in the sea because uh, here they have a tendency to like be in the center of the map and they're all sea vehicles so they try to spawn and they Moving just kind of fall flat on their ass. Moving now. And the deep water dot historically uh, now. the deep water dot. Yay. We already know that. But Moving apparently now. they're gonna come all the way down here or something. Uh, I'm not gonna wait for them. <laughs> Moving now. And God, I'm going. Receiving. Uh, I'm Receiving. Very much. Uh, Receiving. Going uh, here and. Receiving. Stretching my job to the max. Oh. Boom, it blew up. I also stuck a flare on them, just to act as part on missile defense as well. And these are like, very long, but... 
very um, slow missiles. A lot of us, I think, are out. Receiving, moving now. So far, no issues. Uh, let's see what will come against us next. Moving now. Oh, come on. Moving now. Receiving. Receiving. Well, this this is wrong. The plate has to be the one to spawn last, not first. The plate, you're gonna be somewhere in the background there. Receiving. Yep. In battle. Uh, yeah, it's actually a bit strongly set there. But well, it, it is providing us with fuel this time around, so. We should completely run out. And one of the enemies will be too damaged and yeah, the shrike not gonna survive long either. They are shedding pieces and our missiles are there. But the missile is like targeting his wings because it has like a heat decoy in there or something. I mean it must be. Because they're always going for the wings. Damaged. That's all nice and great. Yay. And. Back to the map. Alright. Let's go forward. Now. Yeah. These men are now known by the deep water gun. Really? Oh Moving yeah, there, I think it, there is another base up there. Land, land now. unit base structure. Moving now. Uh, uh, land structures are, I think, up here. Uh, Ratuna, Ratuna. Is that it? I mean this oh that oh it's a prowler. Um Eclate, yes. Keep be looking down there. Equal ten. Uh yeah, like that. Receiving. And like that. I'm gonna adjust my slider to the max. Begin battle. And the prowler is one of the I think it's an expert design. I'm not completely sure at the moment, but it does have its good points and uh, quite a lot of bad points as well. But it's using cram cannons, so I don't expect it. Yep, it already lost one gun. Uh, I don't expect it to be able to fire all of them. And all the side guns have taken a bonding. Yep. There come the long range missiles. Yep. Very slow long range missiles, but they do improve the detection over the area, I suppose. Or at least I think that's how they work. I'm not completely certain about this. And you're yet again going nose on into the enemy. That's not something I would like you to do. Especially not when 
There are plenty of friendly non-exploded missiles lying around. Yeah, I mean, you can repair, but... It's still an issue. Oh well, it, the problem is that now. And the Red Tuna will follow very quickly. I suspect. Ooh, lag. Yeah, I died. Negative 2, 2 damaged. Uh, okay. Well, that's that. That's pretty much it. These torpedoes that run out of range. Huh. Most likely to end up as fully. And another battle is over. And then there is yet another... Falkenheim. Falkenheim is... Uh, Moving now. Another airship that uh, the deep water craft Moving has. Now. I must say they have quite a lot of different Moving airships. Now. They have the Outlaws, the Parkerham, the Murrays, the now. Barracuda. Moving now. Yeah, I'm gonna just put you a bit backwards. And begin the battle. That was not completely unnecessary. Alright, uh, you know what? I want you to kill these things first, because this has the, 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 the dangerous gun. Okay. And we only have one ship in the game. Well, this, this does not matter very well. Um, I'm gonna disable the combat ready. command. Something blew up. Uh, something on the enemy side blew up. Uh, we are doing fine. Still have those big guns though. Yeah, they look like. Oh, they bounced. That's, that's a good thing to happen. The dangers of using the advanced cannons. Yeah. Uh, you, hit, you hit it with shrapnel shells and they have a tendency of going up. And now my AI is kind of sending the ship into the island. I, is it turning? Yeah, it is turning. So it's going away. Hopefully it will stay on course there. And uh, yeah, this is. But our missiles, yep, they're hit it. They, they hit the little bugger back there. And this one is I add that, and that one is uh, too damaged. Do, will we, yeah, we get extra ships into the play, so yay for us. And 
our ship is doing something that I did not expect it to do and that is actually pull back away from the island. It did not hump the island. Did it develop brains? Is my ship becoming intelligent? Yeah, most likely not. <laughs> actually it's doing now something really stupid and that is showing its ass to, to, to the island, to, to things it's trying to target and as a result 90% of its firepower is lost. Yay! Even though, I mean, it's, it's not exactly 90%, but... Oh my god. Okay, we're gonna have to turn the uh, AI off or it's gonna start shooting friendlies. Okay, too damaged. So that was a battery kick, and I'll see, and back combat on. Alright. Um, you do have ignoring salvage, yes you do. Oh yeah, it's shooting at that, I think. It kinda looked like still shooting at that, that, that house, but... It's actually shooting at this... Is this a lighthouse or something? I, I mean, most likely it's, a, it's supposed to be a lighthouse. Alright, so this went fairly smoothly. But our ships are apparently yet again gonna cross each other. Uh, something I don't... I, I don't particularly... Let's increase the slider here, so that everything is in the same. Oh no, they're not gonna cross each other. And that is freakishly nice. And that they're not going to do that. And here is is this thing is supposed to be building a moray. Um I mean when it comes uh, the Atlas thingies are actually launching the Atlas uh, as you approach it, but I don't think I ever seen a moray being launched out of these things. I seen a moray, that's for sure. My first playthrough, uh, well, my first play was literally right in between the two updates, and I was playing the development. So when I played like the first uh, playthrough, um, I had nothing but morays coming after me. <laughs> there was literally the the first attack was normal, but then a moray, and I was like, well, what is this? And it kicked my ass and I pretty much lost everything. So, I restarted to try again, yet again, uh, you know, in a couple of uh, games, Amori came after it, and I literally became, started building small ships that could take out Amori. And I, in the end, I used like a cheeky method of using uh, something like a 50 millimeter cannon that had a uh, gravitation ramp to it attached to it, so th the Moray just couldn't get close enough to use its massive guns because uh, I was just like pushing it at a distance uh, and, and that worked <laughs> took me a while to kill them, but it worked and uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean I, I didn't really have a choice because uh, uh, you are very limited on resources at the start back then and right now uh, it's the same thing so if Morris came after you it's it's kind of difficult to fend them off let's just put it that way and yeah it, it was a cheeky method but it worked um, <laughs> so yeah that that was one really really annoying um, playthrough I must say and in the first playthrough I only got like I killed the, the deep water god and then I got in with the white flares and I just kinda oh well this this no longer gonna work and I restarted the whole thing and I had several playthroughs since then but yeah this one is the first one recorded 
I kind of thought it's gonna be fair uh, that uh, that I start a complete new series for if I wanna build a season. Otherwise, I would uh, just start like with white rails or something. But I mean, because the deep water card—that's pretty much the first enemy everybody goes after because they're all around you. You can't pretty much avoid them, so you kind of have to fight them. Hopefully, they will not shoot each other. All right, they didn't shoot each other. Yeah, even though, I mean, everybody starts with the Deep Water God, and as a result, uh, there are already, you know, hundreds of uh, Let's Plays that go through the Deep Water God series. And, uh, I, I kind of just would skip this entire faction, skip the start, but at the same time, this is one of the most interesting at the start is usually the most interesting in the sandbox kind of games. Uh, later on it kind of turns into one and the same thing. So uh, after like, after you have that with two or three of your opponents, uh, your ships usually, at least my ships, do, usually do not change much after that. Because once you're beef up to destroy three faction with always being improving designs, they kind of handle the rest of it uh, fairly well as well. Yeah, one thing that I intend to do in this playthrough is build an airship. Something that I have not done before. Um, I built planes, not very successful planes, but they worked. Um, I built submarines, which I must say I don't think I ever used a submarine in a campaign. And are you sinking? No, but you're gonna ram into an island, so I'm to slow you down and turn you away. That's okay. Okay. Now we can pull all, press ten, and it's pretty much gonna be time now to end this episode as well. Uh, so receiving. Let's stop here. Save the game. And see you next time.